Paruski. Many years ago, another human fell down to the underground. Oh, damn it, I skipped it. Many years ago, another human fell down to the underground. Monsters believed that Frisk would be the one to set him free. But they had to fight the king of monsters, Ask or Dream War. In the end, the human was victorious. They took away his soul. How could they? And left the underground. GG Frisk. Sometime after that, the ex queen regained her throne, which is definitely Toriel. She passed a law under which all fallen humans were considered their friends. Monsters, displeased, decided to overthrow the queen. <laughs> well then, rip Toriel. <laughs> The mighty Undyne, ex-leader of the Royal Guard, has retaken the throne. She passed a new law under which all found humans Oh must be killed. Well well, things are about to escalate. Horror Tale. What a great start into this series. So what's going on, Dedicated Bros? It's Sammy Luigi Kid, and welcome to Horror Tale. A very, very amazing Undertale AU. If you remember, a long time ago, we've already played a Horror Tale game, which was really, really awesome, and I'm really, really, and I'm really looking forward to this one as well. If you look forward to this as well, make sure to smash the like button. I really appreciate that. The name of the fallen human. Hey, oh. Alice? That's how it is. A ray of light, cutting through the cracks somewhere up high, made you open your eyes. High enough. Memories of the fall, which, it seems, lasted forever, start to flash in your mind. Right, you fell. You dropped over 1,000 feet, yet by some miracle you're alive. Well, how is that possible? <laughs> Falling on flowers. Nice brides. It seems these flowers softened your fall. And this disgusting puddle of mud. Where are you? Also, it's been right that I played an Undertale fan game, so I'm really looking forward even more to it now. Darkness surrounds you, making it difficult to see past a circle of puppies. At least they're alive, just like you are. You decide to get up to explore this place. Howdy! No, wait! Please, be quiet, don't scream! Look, there's nothing I can do to hurt you. Are you sure then? Howdy! How unexpected! Another human who fell down here by mistake. What a surprise! I guess it makes you the clumsy and stupid type. Not to be mean or anything. I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! He offers his leaf like a hand. Shake it? Sure. Hehe. <laughs> you can consider me your first friend down here. I might seem harmless, but don't be so naive. Seeing as down here, it's eat or be eaten. Such is the rule of our world. You better not eat me then, Flowey. Jeez, you look like the saddest human alive. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, what's your name? You say your name. Elisa. Hmm, an interesting name. I've never met a kid with such a name. You couldn't help but smile shyly. You know, you look cute when you smile. And now, be so kind as to proceed to the next room. That room will be a great place to begin. I will wait for you here. Okay, here we go already. We're gonna go to the next room. I already like this so far. Also, the types of cutscenes look great as well. So you're here. Welcome to the underground. Some time ago it was a blossoming and lovely place. But it is all in the past now. We don't have much time. She might be coming. So I'll tell you this much. This place is more dangerous than hell. Especially for you, human. All of this because of one psycho queen. Damn her. Hmm. Here. Put them in your pocket. Seeing as none of us want to stay here, maybe together we can get out of this place. What do you think? Hmm. You agree? Oh, I agreed. I, I wasn't able to decide. Oh! Well, rest in peace. Flower is burning. Flower is wrecked. But isn't Undyne the new queen? It definitely looked like it was Toriel. Flowey? Well, I can tell you now for sure, Flowey is is totally dead. What's 
wrong with that heartbeat? You're shaking. Your soul is filled with fear. No determination, only fear. My child. Well, Toriel wanted to be friends with the human. What a horrible creature torturing such poor, innocent Yauf. Oh, oh, please, don't cry. Don't be scared. You're safe now. The big monster gently wipes off your tears. Ah, that's better. I'm so glad this wild weed hadn't managed to hurt you. Wild weed? It seems she doesn't understand what she has done. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Toriel. I'm the caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Poor girl, you don't look too good. You must be very hungry. Let's go. I will take you to my house and cook something to eat. Well, you're as great as always, Toriel, aren't you? The ruins, manically looming over you, bring sand of stale wind and seclusion. Your soul is filled with fear. So, just saved, and this place is a mess. Welcome, child. This place is called the ruins. The ruins are an old place filled with puzzles, ancient nets of traps and keys. Ah, these buttons. There used to be a puzzle, but it's no longer working. Time has left its mark. But there are a lot of puzzles ahead. You'll have to solve them. They, however, will be... Less broken. I hope they will manage to brighten your mood. Now go, dear. Adventure shall not wait. So there's nothing I can do here anymore? Can't even interrupt with the stuff? Oh, only the feelers may proceed. The rest of the plate is broken off. The text is unreadable. Promise that I'm full of fear. Fortunately, this puzzle is still working. In order to proceed, you still have to press a few switches. Good, good, good. Press C to read signs. What about this one? Stay on the path. Okay, as always, I like it. GG. What about this one? No, 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 no. You want to press the other switch. Turn on made these notes specially for you. You press the switch again. It's not working. Is something wrong? It seems like that something is wrong. Let me try. <coughs> Weird. Why has it stopped working? It seems to have to stuck again. We can't continue without activating the switch. Wait a little bit. Tori will try to do something. It doesn't look like it's gonna work. The lack of any reaction is starting to annoy her. Is this supposed to work? Gold Aunt is so focused on switching, she doesn't notice you. You don't know how to stop her. Well, they disappeared. Here we go. Ah, oh, you see a piece of metal. Work! Damn you! Oh, wait. Where's the child? Already proceeded. Ah, child, here you are. Don't want her off like this again, alright? It can be dangerous here. You don't want to make Aunt Tori sad, do you? This room is useless now. But before you, child, there were a lot of humans. I taught them the rules of fighting here. And this dummy. Ah, so many memories. And monsters used to live in the ruins too. Not all of them were friendly, but we managed to coexist very well. Such a pity that these times have long since passed. Oh, no time for nostalgia. Ah, I'm sorry. Tori is such a chatterbox. Talking about chatter. See the dummy? I often talk to it when I'm bored or having nothing to do. I've noticed you're not very talkative uh, yourself. Maybe. You could try talking to the dummy. Um, don't look at me like that. Dummies are not that scary to talk to. They may not be able to answer, but they're good listeners. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, hehe. <laughs> well done, we're gonna try it out then. So, we're gonna act and we're gonna talk. It seems incredibly stupid to you. You hesitate, yet timidly say hi. Terry's very happy. There is a reassuring smile on her face. It seems she waits for you to continue the dialogue. Okay, let's go with a pun. It has become rather tense. So, you decide to tell the only pun you know. A reaction. You feel even more stupid than before. Tension. I'm gonna look at it. The mercilessly wrecked dummy stands on awkwardly. Button eyes are unfocused. You can see grief and age old grudges in them. Who could have done all this? I need to stare. For some reason, you can't keep your eyes off it. You feel uneasy. You feel a trickle of cold sweat going down your temple. Your slow heartbeats resonate in your eye, in your ears. Blah, I'm sorry. 
Oh my, hat came off. Oh my goodness. Dear, is everything alright? God, I was so scared. You started staring at this time with such a terrified face. You didn't even hear my voice. It was so weird. Well, it's nothing. I was just an old dummy. Nothing to be afraid of. But, try not to come close to it again, okay? Let's go to the next room. There's only one puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. <laughs> okay. Horror tale, huh? Hope there's more horror coming. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okie dokie. So this is the puzzle. But, here, take my hand for a minute. As always, isn't it? I like it. I like it like that. I don't need to do it myself because Toriel is leading me. Sharp spikes hide under the floor as Toriel walks across the right steps. Toriel must already know solution to the puzzle. It's all good. Yet, one odd step and... The grip on Toriel's hand becomes harder. Just take care. You don't want anything stupid to happen, alright? This puzzle must be too difficult for you. Don't walk here alone, alright? It's dangerous around here. Tori has forbidden to walk here. It's not like you wanted to anyway. Well, I actually wanted to. I have one task in store for you, but why don't we unwind a little bit? Let's rest from all this heat. It's a long way, so take my hand. That will make me feel better. Okie dokie, Toriel. I'm just waiting for the partner to finally be able to leave you. Big Goat Aunt's paw slightly presses your hand. Toriel doesn't seem a stranger to you anymore. You feel an aura of safety around Toriel. You pluck up your courage to ask her about her life. Want to learn something about me? It's not like I have too much to tell. I'm just a silly old lady who loves children. What? And I don't like to boast, but I'm the only monster in the ruins who makes great pies. I remember that I once won the family monster pie competition. I can still feel its taste. I put a figure of a little monster on the pie. It had white fur and cute long ears. It seems so tiny and even reminded me of an angel in a way. Huh. This pie was one of a kind. I'll treat you to it sometime, my dear. Drooling already, haha. <laughs> Look, what do you like more? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm? Both? Perfect. Thanks for your information. I remember that. I like the art in between the cutscenes. That's really awesome. So, you finally made it, huh? Here we are. You seem to look better, child. It seems that the puzzles amused you too. <laughs> they always make a good job of it. Let's go. There are more puzzles to solve. Right after you, goat mom. Or in that case, goat aunt. The wind is playing with your hair, as if it were a pile of leaves on the ground. It's so hollow and lifeless here. It fills you with fear a little. But there's nothing to worry about, because Tori is still here. Child, I have a thinking. You were so docile this whole time. It's time to reward you. Want a warm hug with your Aunt Toriel? Sure. It was a trap! Well, we're just gonna go up, and we're gonna get that hug. Well done, Alisa. Come here. She was actually baiting me. See, I didn't lie to you. Did it offend you, child? It was just a test of trust. I'm sorry I had to use this trick. The giant pile of leaves down there was meant to soften their fall. Aww. Thanks for trusting me, my child. Nothing to worry about. Well, we're gonna push that rock, right? This is one very simple. I think you're a smart girl and you will solve it without my help. Aha, uh -huh, come on. Move. Yeah. My child, look at how slowly it moves. It must be very difficult. You could go and help it. Great. Now thank him. You have just thanked the stone. <laughs> Need to feel even more awkward. Well, that's how it is in the underground, my dedicated bros and brudettes. Oh, not again, this goddamn puzzle. My child, please, close your eyes. Do not peek. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna go on the leaves. That's all we had to do. Not peeking. What if we were able to fall down? Done so soon, Elisa? Here's a small reward. I have a few on me. You get a butterscotch. Oh, candy! Why not please yourself with some sweet treat? 
Let's get started with this puzzle. I can do it, don't worry. I hope that the stones won't play stupid on me again. It looks like the puzzle in one of the previous rooms. So you already know the solution. I'll leave it to you. Oh. Look at that. I have to push it to the limit. Ta-da! Together we can do anything. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Oh, there's the cheese. No! No! My child, don't touch the filth. I don't even know how long it has been there. We'll need to get rid of it. Let's get out of here. And quickly. So the mouse oh. never got the cheese as it seems. Naps the blue is also missing here. Oh, I remember meeting my old friend here. And... Oh. Who's there? There is actually someone? Please let it be Naps the Blue. Oh no. Toriel, you're killing all the monsters. Just to defend us children. That's also not the right way. Ah, Elisa, have I scared you again? Oh, oh, you're safe, silly. It was just, well, never mind. And nobody. Just a parasite. Don't pay any attention to it. Everything's alright. You're a psycho, aren't you? Hmm, I'm gonna go to the right. Spiders. The sun is wrapped in web. Spider bake sale. The fair you fall out the tax with stuck on the plate. Huh? No baker here. There's nothing. Only cobwebs. And that's it. Nothing that I can buy. Well, this is so sad. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale? Down to the right. Can't eat food made by spiders. Four spiders. All spiders. Well, it's over. Lisa, I have to leave you for a short while. I have to stay alone for a little bit. I'm really sorry. Can you get past the ruins on your own? No? I shouldn't put you to such danger. Um, could you wait in this room for a little while? It won't take long. Be a good girl, won't you? You decide to wait until Tori comes. You're a good girl, right? But it's just so boring to stand in one place. So I decide to sit. Oh, so we really wait? Sitting on the cold floor is still better than getting into troubles because of your own callousness. Or something even worse. Even a blind would pass through these traps, though. But not you. A stupid, clumsy girl. Too scared to talk to anybody. But... Damn y'all, idiots! Hatred towards your friends has filled your head. Had you been braver? You would have started swearing, shaking the walls of the ruins. Traitors, I hate you! For some reason, these dump hats made you climb this cursed mountain. Why? 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 Why did you agree? Why did you go with them? Oh, that doesn't matter anymore. You left to be filled with hatred and complete silence. A quiet girl is a good girl. That's what your mother used to say. Is everything I do say true? Thoughts are interrupted by a loud sound of dying wail. Ah, that's just your belly. It's grown desperate to fill the cold emptiness of your stomach. You feel as if the hunger has cre created a giant hole inside of you. Well then, you've been sitting here for a long time. Your grim thoughts push you deeper and deeper into the abyss of despair, which brings terror. Yet, despite everything, you decide to keep going. Okay, auto saved again. Hmm. It must be the golden middle, right? There's a switch somewhere, and it's here. We know that game, don't we? A few moments later. I remember there was a weapon back then. What is it this time? An odd metal item is glimmering in the light. Take it? Yeah. You found a power switch mechanism. Okay, something was looking odd. Looked like a weird fog. Well, let's get up tutorial and see. If she's there, oh, I've got to visit her. What if something happened? So, my child, what are you doing here? Have I not told you to wait for me in that room? What if something were to happen to you? You can't be so reckless. Ah, <sighs> I must have been away for too long. So long you've grown tired of waiting. Forgive me for this. Not a scratch. Perfect. Now just stand here. Come on. <coughs> Compared to the rest of your surroundings. This little house looks really comfy, yet deep inside you have a feeling something bad is about to happen. Deep inside, you're filled with fear. Well, welcome to Toria's home, child. I didn't expect any guests, 
so this place may be a bit messy. There are probably some things lying around some dusty corners. You aren't allergic to dust, are you? Good, good. Terry is going to thoroughly clean the house. I want to think that you can have some real nice time here. Come on, I want to show you something. Can we just go downstairs already? You know, not getting a damn about the rules. Wow, we can't... Oh, my goodness. Hey, you shouldn't go down here. There's something I have to show you upstairs. Okay, I thought for one second, hey. She's not even giving a damn. What if I go to the left? Where is my cinnamon butterscotch pie? The door is locked. You feel a nice scent coming from the kitchen. Why do you have to lock it though? What if the books on the shelf picks your interest? You will get back to it once you've finished with the rest of the house. It looks like it hasn't been used for a long while. Well, this one is truly interesting so far. Here it is. It's my room. It's a little bit gloomy, but I hope you like it. I like what just throws my hat. Here's a humble present to you. Aww. Ah, oh, you're such a cutie with this bow. I'm glad you found it. Another child forgot it here, a long time ago. Unfortunately, she wasn't so well behaved. A little pushy and naughty girl. I'm sure you would understand. It's hard to get along with such people. But I believe humans can change over time. Do you agree with me? Sure. Ah, now you're a well behaved little girl. What a relief. It's such a pleasure to be around such children. Well, this room is at your disposal. You better look around for yourself. I'm really always the wrong text. The Mars Library holds a lot of interesting books. Don't be shy to take them. Feel yourself at home, not dear. Well, looking good. I mean, that room is a little creepy. Take a peek inside the closet. All shelves are stuffed with different looking clothing. Some which don't fit you. A plush toy. It's lost its color. This kind of reminds me of Toriel. I catching up the sheet of paper is glued to the wall. The lamp doesn't work. We're gonna take a rest so we can eat pie afterwards. It's a reflection in the mirror? Nah. Surprisingly locked. Inside the drawer are flower seats. Room under renovations. The size cover with dust. Well, there's the reflection. It's Lisa. Who could have thought to put a water sausage in a flower vase? 72 uses for snails. I ran a page. Fact number 32. Snails have ribbon-like tongue called a regula. That contains a thousand of microscopic teeth. The regula works like a file, ripping food up into tiny pieces. Fact number 33. Snail horns are extra noses, turned outside out. Fact number 34. Snails can not only drink, but also soak up moisture with all their body like a sponge. Fact number 35. Snails communicate with what? Ah, child, you are. The pie's ready. You like this book? What a coincidence. Me too. Hmm, I have an idea. Let's read together. Aw, how cute. You and Charlie discuss different topics long into the night. As if you were old friends. Even a boring encyclopedia about snails can turn out to be interesting. Even you have someone to talk to. Sweet butterscotch cinnamon crust is crisping pleasantly inside your mouth. Delicious. So delicious. Not so kind and caring monster has certainly come to your liking. Her happily shining eyes and cheerful voice have made your fatigue you with her away. Friendly chatter paired with the sweet treat fills your heart with the joy. Isn't it perfect? <coughs> uh oh. Did she poison me or something? Ah, child, wait. Are we, I'll be right back. What's going on? Here, here. Deep breath. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've forgotten how monster food can affect humans. It's n nothing. We're gonna fix this. There, there. Some medicine or what is this? I feel sick. Oh dear. I can't let you travel home in such a state. You look so bad. Dear. You rest here until you have recovered your strength. It's unfortunate. Stay put. I shall fetch some medicine from my garden. What if that's her plan? Maybe she wants to keep me here. Oh. This is where the demo ends, actually. Well, uh, what should I say? I mean, it's based on the horror tale AU, and so far it was really awesome. 
was playing just like the original Undertale game, but there wasn't really anything horror so far. But maybe in another demo or in another part of the game, we're able to figure out more. And if it's just as good as the AU, then we definitely got something to look forward to the Dedicated Bros. So if you're looking forward to this, make sure to smash the like button. It would fill me with determination, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel part of it. I'm ready to rate the video all the people, and we'll see each other in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you, ciao!